but to organize ourselves and be in a position to take back our inheritance, to take back that which belongs to us, to claim the driver's seat that we have forever given up, the seat that has our name, the seat that others have taken. Starting with the Europeans, they continue to occupy that seat. The Chinese have joined them. The Middle Easterners, the Indians, the Russians, the Japanese, everybody around the world is occupying the seat that must be occupied by the children of Africa. And that is you and I. We have given up that seat for far too long. ADDI through the leadership of Nana Obokase, the mayor of Cape Coast, the different kingdoms around the area. Of course, President Nanado, and for ADDI, through the leadership of our brother Benson and his entire team in the Trade and Investment Division, we have put together an amazing event for you. A journey that's going to culminate in the children of Africa creating those meaningful relationships, creating those meaningful collaborations, creating the unity of purpose. We are calling you to join us in going home to Cape Coast and launch the first ever expo that's going to showcase to the world, that's going to showcase to our leaders in Africa how true collaborations can be done when the children of Africa who are of like minds come together and unite with our brothers and sisters on the continent. We are going to show the world that while they have tried for centuries to keep us apart, that game is over for we are going home and no one is going to continue to devise us anymore. No one is going to continue to tell us that Africa is a diseased and dying continent. Guess what? Africa is home. We are going to own it. The good, the bad and the ugly. That is our home. We are going to let people know. We are going to remind each other that you don't go to China and find black people driving the Chinese development agenda. You don't go to Europe and find black people driving the European development agenda. You don't go to India, you don't go anywhere on earth and find black people driving development agendas of other nations. We, as a uni united children of one mother Africa must not, should not, and by golly will not allow them to continue to occupy the driver's seat for Africa's development. We've been in the wilderness for far too long. We're educators, we're doctors, we're lawyers, we're accountants, we're engineers, we're taxi drivers, we're everything you can think of. We are the most adaptable people on earth, the most hardworking people the most intelligent people I know, we can no longer continue to allow them to drive Africa's development agenda. The development of Africa is our responsibility and ours alone. 